are watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. Alert Level 1 classification will remain in the National Capital Region from May 1 until May 15. Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emergent Infectious Diseases and Acting Presidential Spokesperson Martin Andanar announced the following would be under Alert Level 1. Meanwhile, the following component cities and municipalities are also under Alert Level 1 until May 15. The following provinces, highly urbanized cities and independent component cities, meanwhile, shall be placed under Alert Level 2 for the same period. Under Alert Level 2, certain establishments and activities are allowed at 50% capacity indoors for fully vaccinated adults and minors and 70% capacity outdoors. Comale Commissioner George Garcia says the RA11332 and IATF guidelines prohibit confirmed COVID-19 patients from leaving their respective isolation facilities to cast their vote in the upcoming polls. Garcia also said the isolated COVID-19 patients may not vote in other means because of the Comalek cannot bring the ballots to the isolation facilities. While the Comalek assured that even those experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 such as fever, sore throat and cough and colds will be allowed to vote. The DOH urged them to stay at home. Comelec has prepared an isolation polling precinct which will be manned by a medical team and election officers in full personal protective equipment who will assist the voters. Meanwhile, DOH Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergeri said individuals with COVID-19 symptoms should stay at home to prevent transmitting the virus. The intertropical convergence zone is still affecting Mindanao. The ITCC will bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over northern Mindanao, Karaga region and Davao region. Meanwhile, the prevailing eastern winds will continue to bring hot and humid weather over the rest of the country. Localized thunderstorms are also possible in the afternoon or evening. PBA courtside reporter Selena Dagdag Alas, wife of the PBA player Kevin Alas, revealed on Thursday that she was diagnosed with a rare type of cancer called gestational trophoblastic neoplasia a month ago. Gestational trophoblastic neoplasia is the term given to a group of rare tumors that develop during the early stages of pregnancy based on hopkinsmedicine.org. Selena said she repeatedly cried in her husband's arm after hearing she has cancer because it was her biggest fear. In January, the courtside reporter had a miscarriage few months after their marriage. We pray for your recovery, Selena. Meanwhile, James Corden is leaving as the host of The Late Late Show. American host James Corden announced on Thursday that it will be his last season as the host of The Late Late Show. Corden got emotional as he bids goodbye to the show and to the fans as well. He still has a year to host the show and promised that there will be carpools, crosswalks, sketches and other surprises. That's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good afternoon.